Good evening. It'll be a grim Christmas for 28 Delta flight attendants if they're forced to leave the United States. Delta Airlines transferred them from Poland to work here. They had high hopes, but now federal authorities say they have to leave because their visas are invalid. Today, they went to federal court to fight the government decision to make them leave. Senior correspondent Gabe Pressman reports on a story you'll see only on News Channel 4. Gabe? Yes, Michelle. They are a highly educated, sophisticated group. Many have bachelor's and master's degrees. They're ambitious. They love this country and say they don't understand why Uncle Sam in this Christmas season is acting like Scrooge. I was planning my future in here to stay and live here. It's a lonely time for Joanna Kvapinska. In her Lower East Side apartment, she writes a letter to family in Warsaw. She worries about her future. She worked for Delta for seven years. Her three-year-old boy and his father are in Poland, and she's expecting a baby in February. If she crosses the border, she can't come back. Are you angry? I am. Anger and sad. I'm trying to relax, but it's not, it's not happening. I cannot sleep at night. Members of the group in their lawyer's office today express distress. I like the country. That's why I decided to come here. The opportunity at the beginning looked very good. That's why I think we all decided to come. We've been invited here by Delta. I don't know why it happened to us because we didn't do anything wrong. Their lawyer, who took their case to federal court today, says the government acted capriciously. We're talking about people that went through the legal process, were given certain assurances by both their company and by the United States government, and now are being told in this holiday cheer season, pack up and leave. According to one woman, the situation has given her ulcers. A man adds that he's been treated for depression, and the child of one flight attendant makes this pitch to the government. Yeah, I want to stay here. Why? It's fun here. I got a lots of friends. Anxious and almost prayerful, Joanna Kvevpinska says... So I do have a hope. That's probably why I'm still sitting here. Otherwise, I would be gone. Russ Bergeron, spokesman for the INS, says the visas were issued in error and insists we took the appropriate action. He denies they're being deported, but admits by being denied visas, they are forced to leave. He insists the government has been generous in allowing them to stay pending appeal. But lawyer Michael Wilde says the government, by trying to send these people packing, is hardly showing the holiday spirit. We'll see them in court. Chuck, Michelle. All right, Gabe, thank you. tonight.